Good morning students and welcome to standard 9th English. I am sister Clara. After a long vacation and lockdown due to COVID-19, let's get back to our academic activities. We shall begin with your English textbook Beehive. Open to page number 15 and you will find there the poem The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Let's learn something about the poet. Robert Frost was born on March 26, 1874 in San Francisco, America. He was interested in reading and writing poetry from his earlier age. However, as a young man, he was indecisive of his career. He worked as a teacher for some time. Thereafter, he took up a job as a cobbler and later on an editor. In the year 1912, he along with his family moved to England after he had tried and failed in farming. There he was influenced by the British poets like Ezra Pound who helped him to promote and publish his work. His writings are simple but insightful about common ordinary experiences of life. The poem The Road Not Taken is an inspirational poem. It is about the struggle and confusion involved while making decisions in life. As the traveller walks on, he finds two paths, the one on which everyone walks and the other is opposite of the crowd. The person has to decide whether to follow the crowd or to take the other road where very few or none has walked and make his or her own career in life. The poet in the poem chooses the path that hasn't had many travellers and is proud that he has chosen the other path because that has made all the difference in his life. Now let's get into the poem itself, The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveller long I stood to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other just as fair and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear, though as for that the passing there had worn them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay, in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, Somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less travelled by, and that has made all the difference. Let's try to understand each stanza what the poet means. In the first stanza, the poet is telling that as he was walking along the road in the early hours of the day, he reaches to a certain point. Where the, road, where the road gets diverged or he finds the road in two directions and he says two roads diverged in a yellow wood. Here the yellow wood means during the autumn season the leaves from the tree gets dried up and it turns yellow and when it falls in the ground it covers the path. The poet stands there for a long time before choosing as to which road to take. He looks down as far as his eyes could reach till no longer able to see where it ends as it disappears in the forest which he tells it bent in the undergrowth. Here the poet also makes use of certain figures of speech. I hope you have learnt in 8th standard what are the figures of speech. Anyway in my ne next video I will explain to you in detail about the figures of speech but here for you to know you see Two roads diverged is a metaphor for the confusion involved while making decision and so the figure of speech here is metaphor. Yellow wood, the yellow wood stands for again is a metaphor which means for no clarity or less clarity in life. Bent in undergrowth, again it's a metaphor for less visibility or difficulties in life's journey. In the second stanza. You see, then took the other just as fair. He speaks about the choice he made. 
he feels happy about the choice he has made though both the paths seemed alike because the path he chose was grassy and wanted wear he says which means it was full of grass and no one had walked on it since it was early hours of the day both the paths looked same here you see the again figure of speech then took the other just as fair it's a simile because both the road looked alike secondly you see it was grassy and wanted wear here two per, two figures of speech alliteration as well as personification alliteration because the consonant sound w is repeated wanted wear personification because the quality of wanted you know the um, human quality is given to the grass and that's why it's a personification i hope you have understood the stanza let's move on to the third stanza in the third stanza he repeats telling both the roads looked same because it was early morning you see and both that morning equally lay okay and no one had walked on it however being alone he keeps the one for some other days to walk on but he doubts whether he would return again as he says way leads on to way which means the path he has opted after some distance again there will be cross road and again he has to make decision so he is quite sure he may not return again in this stanza you see i kept first for another day is an alliteration what is alliteration i told you earlier the same consonant sound or vowel sounds repeated here first for the consonant sound f is repeated and so it's an alliteration secondly how way leads on to way is a repetition the repetition because the same word b is repeated here and so the figure of speech is repetition let's move on to the fourth stanza in the fourth stanza you see he says he is happy with the choice he has made and so he breathes a sigh of relief he says i shall be telling this with sigh somewhere ages and ages hence he is satisfied and contented and so he wants to share this experience eternally from ages to ages forever that having chosen the path which was less traveled by has made all the difference in his life here somewhere ages and ages hence is a repetition i hope you have understood the poem my dear students as i told you in the introduction this poem is an inspirational poem the poet here is trying to convey the message that we all whether young or old sooner or later whether small or big decisions have to make in our life most of the time what we do is we follow the crowd we follow our friends but let's not do so soon by the end of this year you will be given a choice to make as to whether to take hindi or sanskrit pt or computer and most of you will take what your friends will take without even thinking whether it is useful later on or no but you should not follow your peer groups but listen to your conscience also sometime take advice from your parents and teachers before making any before making any decisions in life because the choice you make today shapes your future with this we have completed your poem the road not taken on page number 16 you will find few questions write down in your notebook the answers in your own words as well as you will have to take you know, the workbook and you will find there some additional questions write it and learn it